I'm trying really hard to come up with a funny intro, but I'm just too mesmerized. We're going to make these reactive LED heels. So we're taking like those blinky shoes that you had as a little kid to a whole new level. So how these work is that there is obviously LEDs in the stiletto portion providing this sexy underglow. And then as you step, they change color. Yeah. So this is a really simple input Arduino output function essentially. Um, the input being a pressure sensor, and then the output being the NeoPixel strip. So this mod costs about $25 per shoe, assuming you already have a soldering iron and solder and basic hookup wire type stuff. All right, let's get started. So pick a shoe. I would go with something with like a three inch plus heel so that it can fit all of the electronic components that you need. Now, the next step in my workflow is to kind of prep all of my electronic components by soldering leads onto them, especially with any kind of wearable project. This seems to just make it easier. So I'm gonna go in and solder all of my leads onto my LED. And I did kind of a bad job self-filming this video, so please ignore all of my head that keeps popping up. Anyway, it should look like this when you're done. And I'm gonna do the same thing to my pressure sensor, noting that that middle lead doesn't go anywhere, so I'm only doing the top and the bottom and then I'm gonna do my board. And since most of the other leads that I just soldered onto my other components are eventually gonna get soldered to the board, I really only need to put on a ground and a hot. And this is just to make my life e easier so that I have pigtails down the road. And if you don't know what components I'm using, you're in luck, because I've linked them all down in the description below. So no worries, you can recreate this project exactly like I did, if you want. But also, you're encouraged to take some creative freedoms. And now we enter the game of length fitting. So here I'm measuring the length of that green data wire that will be soldered between the board and the LED, just like that. On this five volt trinket, I soldered to pin number four. Next, I'm using some double sticky side tape, oh, double sticky side, sticky side, <laughs> tape along the length of the pressure sensor and then placing it into the shoe, sticking it into the shoe. And I'm making sure to put the, the round part of that pressure sensor right where the ball of my foot hits when I take a step. So you might need to, to put your foot in the shoe to figure this out. Then I'm just gonna stealthily wrap those wires around so that they peek out right where the board is, right where they need to be so that there's no excess wire showing. All right, so the next step is to build the voltage divider. And the voltage divider is gonna be how we know if the shoe is being stepped on. It's a relatively simple concept that takes advantage of the fact that the pressure sensor changes in resistance as it's being stepped up. So we know that our five volts is gonna be five volts and our ground has to be ground. So if we take a resistor that has a constant value and our variable resistor, our pressure sensor, and hook them up in series, we can measure the middle of them and see how that voltage shifts according to the change of the ratio of the resistance of those to resistors, the, the static and the variable. Okay, so to build the voltage divider in real life, I'm going to take the wire coming off of my pressure sensor and a resistor and twist those together. And I'm taking extra care to leave a little bit on the end so that I can solder the twisted bit and then electrical tape it and still have an end, a, a connection, to solder to pin number two, to solder to that board so that we can read the change in voltage. Then I just snip the excess off and it's time to move on to installing the battery, which means consolidating our hot and our ground. I started with the five volt coming off of my battery pack. So I'm measuring here the length it needs to be to reach the battery in pin on the board, snipping it, stripping it, and then soldering it right on. Now, remember how I soldered a five volt line onto my board and my LED strip when I started? That was good planning because now all I have to do is take all of my five volt lines. So that's the one coming off my board, the one coming off my LED strip. And if you remember from my voltage d divider drawing, the one coming from my voltage divider, so the resistor end, and just strip them and solder them together. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how flippin' bad our scissors are. What's the matter with these scissors? 
Anyways, then just pop your electrical tape on, protect your open wires, and do the exact same thing for your ground wires. And now it's time for final assembly. So I'm using some double-sided tape to stick the battery pack on, although in hindsight, I definitely should have used VHB, which you can see here that I'm using on everything else. So why I didn't use it here, not sure. But anyway, it came, the battery pack came off while I was shooting all the beauty shots later. So use VHB and just stick all your components where you want them to be. Fold your wires nicely away from view and keep your wires nice and contained and bam, you are done. Well, almost done. I highly recommend you actually put batteries in the battery packs so that there's light and electricity and stuff. Well, you know, you get the gist. Ooh, ah, sparkles. And you can push down on that pressure sensor to give it a test. And now I preloaded my code onto these boards. Um, I'll put the code down in the description below, but you are also more than welcome to write your own. I kind of went under the sea mermaid themed, but if I did it again, I would probably rewrite it to be fire themed because that seems cooler. Good luck. If you make your own, please show us on social media and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and little bell so that you can see all of our other shenanigans as they come out in real time. Thank you so much for watching. This is Zyla from God Mike today and Zyla behind the camera. See ya.